with the emerging popularity of this kit right here, we started including these flyers in our remote start plug and plays right before the holidays last year with a QR code so you can just go ahead and purchase the My Car app. And we have two different types, but essentially they're the same exact unit, which is the My Car Linker LT2 or the CarLink ASCL6, which are identical except for the manuals and how the app and paperwork look. Essentially, it's all the same exact thing. Also, so is the DEI. That'll be looking the same too because DEI is now owned by Audiobox, which is also owns Omega. So you see it's kind of going in that direction. The main point of my video is to try to save you time, save you money, and just get you prepared because a lot of people are getting disappointed and frustrated because they don't seem to have the parts that they expected to get when they want to put together a kit. So for instance, if you had one of these older style, this is an old CHR4 T-harness and it came with this power plug. You got this plug right here which is used for absolutely nothing. And you had the small four pin mini which goes into the Evo. And that leaves you with this one little stub right here with the tab. But where does the tab go? Because if you have that, you can't take that and plug that into that because that's the same thing. You have two males. That don't work. The parts don't fit, right? You need a male and a female. That's the way I understand it to work. This is the missing component. A lot of people never even heard of this thing. But it's called an RF-A2A. It's a part that we use on our site. We sell it. We use it all the time when we build in pre-wire kits. However, for the average person, when they buy, say, a remote start and they have these extra plugs and they plug in their, say, linker, right? Now, this one here is a later model and it has this pre-wired kit nice and neat cloth tape and you got the empty blank female receptacle for the smart car application and then you have another male here which is kind of like a dead end like I was telling you about before using this so we're kind of back in the same boat so you still kind of need this to go into here then from here say if you wanted to add an RF kit now you kind of got a whole crazy thing going on here so what I'm going to try to show you is how to avoid all of this save money from buying this and also there's another component by the way I left that out there's always another one right with the smart car app the my car you have to put this hideous looking adapter in here and then this goes into here so you got this monstrosity here which is ugly I mean it's unnecessary all this stuff because it's designed to fit like a whole bunch of different units and we don't care about all those other units we only care about our unit so essentially this plug all this thing does which is the HRN-LLRS01 if you were interested in knowing what this is this is the plug it just repins the blue and the white which is RX and TX we have it transmits and receives it just inverts those two plugs so that way blue is white and white is blue so what comes in here is reversed on the other side red and black power and ground same exact thing so what I'm going to show you is how we can get rid of this entirely and also this. Simplify it and again, if you're a novice wiring person or if you don't have a lot of experience or you feel a little iffy about doing this kind of stuff, this is probably not for you. But for most of the people that watch my videos, these are pretty much elite or super experienced or you know knowledgeable people in this field. And also, I did another video, I'll put a link that I show you how to use this diode. So if you're using a Fortin RF kit. And a Fortin Protocol My Car application, you could do an RF kit, Smart Car app, and three times lock all at the same time. All you have to do is add this diode with the band facing the antenna on the white striped wire on the antenna right there. I have a whole other video on that one, so I'm not going to waste a lot of time on that. I'm going to show you how to hardwire this into here without all this other crap. Saving you a lot of time, it's going to look really cool, you'll see. The very first thing we need to do is prep our car link. You'll notice that there's three leads coming out of the side of this shrink wrap, which is black, yellow, and red. That's for standalone operation. We don't need those. So we cut them short and insulate them. Now right here, Just a gentle slice. No need to be too tough on these wires. Chop that critter right off of there. 
and this is what we're doing. We're going to strip back about an inch or so, or however much you feel comfortable doing. I just use about an inch. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now, I'm not wiring in this RF kit simultaneously with the linker. I'm just doing the linker directly into this port and I'm reversing the two leads and making it nice and neat and alleviating the need for all these extra components just to keep it simple. If you want to know about adding the two kits, watch the other video. I'm going to take some shrink wrap and slide it over this side of the harness, exposing the bare wires so I can work with them right here. And I'm going to connect these to here, insulate them, and then I'm going to pull the shrink wrap and heat shrink it all together to make it all fit nice. So once again, before I sew this wiring up, this is the correct wiring. Blue to white, white to blue, and then I go color to color, red to red, black to black. That's it. Once the connections are made and the shrink wrap is on top, I'm just going to seal that up. And there you go. Now, do you like the looks of this? Or do you like the looks of... Oh, God. This crazy looking thing. I mean, could you imagine this? So many freaking plugs. I don't even know where the heck they go anymore. <clears throat> now, look at this crazy looking thing. Or, you could just do it my way. Saves you money, saves you time, and if you're going to use an RF kit, you could do the same exact principle. Just line it up because the data to data plugs are always the same. They're always pinned out red, black, blue, white, always in every case. Even if the colors are different, you know what they are on the other side because you could plug this plug into here and you could tell what's on the other side just by looking at the colors on the main side from the Evo. Even if you don't have the correct colors on the antenna. That's the trick. So now I can just run this out, zip tie this up. This guy's going to have a beautiful remote star for his Toyota. And that's it. Hope you liked it.